In this video, I'll be showing you how to do a simple three-point calibration on a pressure device using the DPI 610E pressure calibrator and its internal documenting feature. Attach the device on the test to the pressure test port, connect the electrical leads, and then set up the test configuration in the calibrator screen. I'm setting channel one to internal pressure, which is the measured pressure I'm generating to the device on the test. My pressure transducer has a 4 to 20 milliamp output. So I'm going to set up channel two as current measure with 24 volts to be supplied by the calibrator to my device under test. Next, we go into the documenting application. Here we have the option to see our internal or local procedures or to view the remote procedures downloaded by Drugs Foresight 2 calibration asset management software. Select the option to create a new procedure the test procedure details are automatically populated with the information configured previously in the two channels. Review each field and modify where necessary. The default number of test points is two. A maximum of 25 points can be specified. Based on the input range and the number of test points specified, the test point values are automatically calculated and the percentage values can be viewed. Once everything is set, select Save to complete creating the procedure. The procedure file can now be found in the list of internal procedures here. Next, we select the relevant test procedure and then press Play. Now enter information about the device on the test, as well as ambient conditions and operator information. It's mandatory to give the device a unique identifier, such as asset ID. All other information fields are optional. It is important that all the information is entered as accurately as possible for good traceability. In the final step, check all the test details are correct and the device on the test is connected correctly. Now let's start the calibration. At the top, there is information that guides you at each set point. So this is our input, which is the internal pressure supplied to the device. And here is our output, which is the current measured by the device as a result of the applied pressure. So step one, we go to zero bar. We apply zero pressure using the pump or the volume adjuster. When the pressure is settled, save the reading using the add test point soft key. Each time we log a test point, the pass fail status of both the input and the output are displayed in the pop-up window and we have the option to accept or cancel that test point. On accepting, we go to step two. And again, once it's settled, we can log the reading. Lastly, step three. And once settled, we take the reading. The test is now complete and the overall pass fail result is shown here. Select the save soft key to continue. On the next screen, we can enter notes or details of the calibration that needs to be documented. Finally, press the next soft key. You can review the calibration test summary screen with the results we just saved. If a test procedure is carried out for the first time on a specific device, the results are automatically saved as as found. If run more than once, the results can be saved as as left. To view the result details, we tap here. To run the test again, just select the play soft key. There is no need to re-enter the details. To transform your calibration results, Simply scan the QR code or go to the link as shown on the screen to download our free calibration template document with instructions on how to use it. This calibration procedure can now be run on multiple devices. Documenting removes the need for pen and paper or manual entry into a PC. It enables you to calculate errors, obtain pass fail status, and address any issues that occur during field calibration. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website.